What do you mean there's nothing more she can do? She's a doctor for fuck's sake. Doctor to the Queen of fucking England. Excuse me, madam. Would you kindly desist from swearing in front of Queen Ariana? Said the Queen's private aide. The Queen is unconscious, you idiot. Nevertheless... Oh, did I offend your sensibility? I'm so sorry. Go and tell that so-called doctor, that waste of taxpayers' money, to come and fix the fucking queen. The doctor has already told you there's nothing more she can do. Look here, you overpaid lackey. Do you remember what Ariana said about me and you? Yes. You have her full authority, and I am to obey you at all times unless she says otherwise. So shut up. The doctor told you the Queen has cancer. It's about to spread and she can't stop it. Bullshit. Why can't she inject another one of her potions into Ariana's blood and stop it shooting those shitty cells all around her wonderful body? The aide stepped forward and lowered her voice. Madam, I realise you're upset... I know you and the Queen are close, but I must insist that you follow the protocols and stop your foul-mouthed utterances. Tits to you and your prissy protocols. Remind me again, who employs you? The trust fund set up by the Queen's mother and father. Well, they're dead, and I'm wrapping up the fund, so you're defunct. As from now, you're out of a job. And homeless. Well, really, I must protest. Go away, Queen's Aid, before I have you removed. And I will. You know I will. And send that fucking doctor in. The sharply dressed aide ran her fingers through her grey hair. Queen's bit of rough, she said under her breath. She turned on her perfect four-inch heels and left the room. Click, clack, click, clack. Heels. I ask you. This country, it's barbaric, cut off from the world, isolated, living in the faded glory of its past. I'd get the hell out if it wasn't for her, my queen. Right then, Doctor, now that Tight Knickers has retreated, tell me, what's the score? I've told you many, many times, there's nothing more I can do. Yeah, I know, but now the protocol princess is gone, you can tell the truth. What's the latest cutting edge what's the latest cutting edge treatment this island has to offer? Money's no object. The taxpayer has deep pockets. Those tiny nanobot molecules have done all they can. They found the cells, delivered the drugs, but it hasn't worked. All the signals coming back from the bot show that the cancer cells are about to invade the bloodstream. There's nothing more we can do. What about Vari Glass at the Elsa Berg Institute? She figured out how to communicate with cells years ago. Sweden even has laws about it. No, she's a quack, a dangerous quack. I went to the centre with Ariana. We loved her. Amazing stuff. They were persuading organs in this guy's body to accept a cybernetic heart. She reckoned the organs were plotting to remove it, to reject it, which, as she explained, was very short-sighted of them, because without a heart... They're all fucked. The doctor stood there, staring. Wind your neck in, please. Anyone would think I'd suggested voodoo or exorcism. Please, the doctor whispered. Don't validate this in any way. If word gets out that the Queen is having this treatment, it'll become the norm. Typical protectionist crap. Look at her, my beautiful lover, my Queen. You've got nothing for her, so don't presume you have any say over what happens next. Get out. It's illegal. Get out. The Queen lay on her bed, surrounded by machines and monitors. On either side of her bed was a large electromagnet. Vari's team had arrived a few hours earlier, and now they sat quietly, occasionally pointing at something or making complex hand gestures. The silence was comforting, in an odd sort of way. They were learning the language of the Queen's heart, and it was taking a very long time. Can't you just get on with it and tell those bloody rogue cells to stop pissing about and die? 
Vari folded her arms serenely. We're almost ready. We know what we are doing. It's standard practice back home, especially for cancer cells. I know she's precious to you, but one false move in this negotiation and we could cause more damage than good. Be too bloody late by the time you've worked out how to be at one with the organs. Maybe the doc was right. Patience, said Vari. We have to learn the language of her particular heart if we're going to persuade it to negotiate with a complex mix of water, proteins and neurons to block the cancer cells from entering the blood. Ultimately, it's in all of their best interests, so it should work. Tits, I wish I'd never called you. Look at her. It's fucking embarrassing to see her like this. Vari continued. Continued watching. Hand signalling to two of her team who were drawing symbols on the large screen at the side of the room. At last they all stopped and faced each other. We've made contact, said Vari. We said hello. The heart said hello back. What the fuck do you mean you said hello? We've recognised each other's existence. Now we will negotiate. Two of the team stood by the screen while another two faced the monitors. Vari sat beside Ariana and held her hand. Go, she said. The bots streamed information back to the displays and the two scientists called out undecipherable sets of numbers and characters to the other scientists who scribbled away at diagrams and formula calling back to their colleagues once they'd done whatever it was they were doing. What the hell is going on? What are you doing to my queen? Vari beckoned her over. Here, come and hold her other hand. They waited. The scientist watched, scribbled and sent a pulse through the electromagnetic field, then watched some more and pulsed some more. For what seemed like hours, they pressed on, watching and pulsing until one of them laughed. Vari laid the queen's arm across her chest. We've done it, she said. The cancer cells have given up trying to get into the bloodstream. Have you fixed her? We have for now. For now? Yes. Give us time and we'll try to persuade the cancer cells to leave forever. Time? We don't have time. They're contained for now. For now, we can do more, but there's always a risk of a failed negotiation and an unexpected reaction. Do you want us to continue? Yeah, fuck, go for it. Okay, we'll need an old one. Old one? Old person. What the fuck are you saying? We use volunteers near the end of their lives as hosts. Vari screwed up her eyebrows. We fool the cells into thinking it's a new home. Shit. Shit, let me think. The sooner the better. Okay. You. Yes, you guarding the door. Find that decrepit old aide and bring her to me.